Adam and Lauren met at work and started off as really good friends. After a while, there seemed to be a spark between them and they started seeing each other. After a fair few years, they decided to move in together and Adam became a proud father of two little bunny rabbits, <laughs> Jasper and Jess. <laughs> Over the years, they have worked together, then lived together, and through the pandemic, worked and lived together, <laughs> which makes it even more incredible that they're both here today. <laughs> After five years, Adam proposed on Bournemouth Beach, with Lauren's parents, Lawrence and Janice, both there looking on. Bournemouth is a very special place to Lauren, it's where she would holiday with her parents as a little girl and hold a special place in her heart. Adam's greatest passions in life are the king and Lauren. And after six years of being together, Adam is finishing Lauren's sentences while Lauren is finishing Adam's words. <laughs> Thank you for coming. They've both worked really hard for the last 18 months, making sure that everything's just right and making sure that we all have a wonderful time. So I'm sure we're gonna have a great day today. It won't be for the lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> and the good news is, Lauren and Adam don't know anything about this, but the good news is, I'm not giving a speech today. <laughs> because Grace has kindly put um, a slideshow together of some happy family memories Aww. of the two of us when we were both a lot younger. <laughs> I'll let you all decide who's aged the best. <laughs> <laughs> mm. First thank you goes to my new in-laws, Janice and Lawrence. Their love, support and generosity has been absolutely unbelievable. Not just for today, but ever since our night and I've been together. Thank you for raising a beautiful, funny... <laughs> I'm going to go again. <laughs> Jesus. Funny, charismatic daughter. And of course, for letting me have her hand in marriage. We were made for each other, you and I. And I know this to be true, because today I don't feel like a bride. I feel one of two. I feel complete, and that's how I know it's meant to be. Because I am half of you, and you are half of me. Lisa, Paul, Jenna and George, and indeed the rest of the good Courage clan. Thank you for welcoming me into your beautiful family with open arms. It's one thing to marry the man of your dreams, but to have in-laws as amazing as you, wow, that really is the icing on the cake. Lauren, I feel so lucky. So lucky and proud to be standing beside you today when I proposed on that ridiculously windy Bournemouth beach. <laughs> I told you how much you mean to me. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You've got a hold on to me next time, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> that feeling only ever gets stronger. You're my absolute favourite. You comfort me, challenge me, encourage me. You make the mundane exciting. You let me bake even after you've just <laughs> even after you've just cleaned the kitchen. And I'm sorry our kitchen will forever be coated with flour. <laughs> I promise to always make you laugh, to share the joy with you in good times, to stand with you and support you in hard times to always reassure you, to share everything with you, and to always give you my last McDonald's fries. <laughs> <sighs> I promise to never take you for granted. And to forever treasure 
the absolutely incredible woman that you are. And to love you with everything I have throughout the rest of our lives together. Firstly, I want to say a huge thank you to my bridesmaids and my maid of honour for being the best friends a girl could wish for. You look absolutely stunning today, and I don't know what I'm doing. There. there. <laughs> raising a fine specimen of a man. Oh no. George, you've always been the better looking son. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, not just me, but everyone here would like to thank you for producing such an incredible son. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know what happened with George. <laughs> but one, one out of two isn't bad. But seriously, thank you so much for all the love and support. <clears throat> I'm not going. You've given me over the last 28 years. I know you've made Lauren feel so welcome to the family. So thank you for that. When you said you wanted to bake our wedding cake, I was sceptical to say the least. <laughs> Not because of your ability, the stress is going to involve right before our big day, but I'm pleased to say you have proven me wrong and it is an absolute triumph. We really do love you, mate. Um, without, you make us laugh, you know, without, without you even knowing. Who's right here? <laughs> it doesn't even have to. It doesn't even have to say anything. You don't have to say anything, do you, mate? It's just the eyes. True gents and a testament to all of us. We love you, boss. Not only are you one of our best friends, you've obviously also now provided us with another best friend in Oz. I think you would all agree that Lawrence is an absolute credit to Danish and Lawrence. They have raised a wonderful, gorgeous, kind, <laughs> honest, <laughs> caring woman. Sorry, I'm struggling to lean up in that way. <laughs> you look absolutely... I can't. I'm going to go. <laughs> When I saw you walk down the aisle, you took my breath away. <laughs> Good night, God bless. <laughs> I really am the luckiest bloke in the world to have found someone so loving and caring and willing to share your life with me. Oh, oh. Oh, you do it. <laughs> so if everyone could raise their glasses to my new wife, Lauren. They must have needed you and I from the same dough, rolled us out as one on the baking sheet, must have suddenly realised how unfair it was to put that much magic in one person. How else is it that when I look at you in the mirror, I'm looking at you? When you breathe my own lungs, fill with air. That we just met, but we've known each other our whole lives, if we were not made as well. <laughs> All drink to the future happiness and long life together, happy life together, and a healthy life together. So here's to Lauren and Adam. To my mum and dad, how do I even begin to thank you for all you've given me? There are no words that would do it justice, so I will simply say this. 
Thank you for being the best parents in the world. My heart absolutely bursts for you both. Thank you for the love and support you have given to me and Adam. And I am so proud to call you mum and dad. And I love you endlessly. <laughs> Adam, I was in love with you long before I told you. And my love for you only goes stronger with every passing moment. Good by name and good by nature, there is not a bad bone in your body. You are unfailingly kind, thoughtful, clever, and incredibly talented in your work and passions, with a grounding, calming energy. Your very presence settles my soul. Not to mention, you're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> How did I ever get so lucky? We are two of a kind, you and I. Different but the same. Perfectly balanced to one another, like yin and yang, day and night. I know whatever life has in store, laughter, tears, sunshine and rain, we will always have each other. And we will never get life's great journey together. I can't wait to begin this next chapter of our lives together as a married couple, but also with the incredible love and support from our family and friends that surround us here today. I promise to respect you and be honest and true. I promise to encourage you in all your endeavours. I promise to be your confidant, your best friend and your equal. I promise to approach our marriage with an open heart and mind and I concede that our kitchen will always have a light dusting of flour. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let it slide, mostly. <laughs> but above all else, I promise to love, cherish, and support you in every way possible through the seasons of life. All that I am, I give to you. You'll never know just how much I love you. But if you'll let me, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to show you just how much 